This is the brand new Genesis G70 shooting brake. And first things first, it's a great looking machine. The G70 is a three series size luxury saloon from Genesis. And along with this shooting brake model, it'll be coming to the UK later this year. So in this video, we'll take you through all of the cool, interesting details of the new G70 shooting brake and tell you everything you need to know before it's full reveal. And be sure to subscribe to the Auto Express YouTube channel so you don't miss any more of these new car reveals. The first thing that strikes you is the design. It's such a striking looking car and Genesis is really trying to mark itself out with a few distinctive details like this big imposing grille and these split headlights. Then there's the rakish side profile of the shooting brake, which is said to mimic a sprinter's pre-race posture. The whole car just looks really taut and purposeful. And at the rear, where well, we've got this sloping roof line and these really smart split tail lights. But does it look better than the three series touring or a C-Class Estate? Let us know what you think in the comments below. And that shooting brake look isn't just for show. This car has a 330 litre boot, making it 40% bigger than the G70 Saloon, and it's been designed specifically with European buyers in mind. Genesis is a new name here, but elsewhere it's already established itself as the luxury spin-off brand of Hyundai. And if it's going to do the same in Europe, the cabin needs to be up to scratch as well. And I have to say, it's a very nice place to sit in here. The finish is really nice. The design is quite simple. There's not a huge amount of flair, but it's nice enough. It's a nice place to sit. You've got these nice knurled dials. You've got all sorts of interesting stuff going on, like 3D effect gauges, which look pretty good, make you a bit dizzy actually after looking at them for a long time. But yeah, you've also got this 10.25 inch touchscreen. Responds pretty well, as you'd expect. It's definitely good enough. The G70 shooting brake will also be fitted with lane keep assist, emergency braking and adaptive cruise control, which can bring the car to a full stop. So it should be pretty strong on the tech front, but that sloping roof line might make you wonder where the room in the back has been compromised. Luckily, it is quite roomy back here, actually. I'm just over six foot tall. I've got a decent amount of headroom. The one thing I will mention is though, there's nowhere really to put my feet. And that means that my legs are a little bit cramped and I haven't got the under thigh support that I'd want. So it's spacious, but it's not top of the class, let's say. And what about the engines? The G70 Saloon is available with a 3.3 liter turbocharged V6 petrol, which drives all four wheels and even has a built-in drift mode. Unfortunately, the shooting brake won't be available with this range-topping power plant straight away, but we expect it to come later. At launch, the car can be had with either a 2.0-litre four-cylinder petrol or a 2.2 diesel, both driving the rear wheels alone. They do at least have strong outputs though. The petrol produces 251 bhp and 353 newton meters of torque, with the diesel giving 199 bhp and a healthy 440 newton meters. Both engines will be paired with an eight-speed automatic gearbox. So the G70 shooting brake looks very promising indeed. But what's all of this going to cost? Well, unfortunately, we don't have any official word on pricing, but other Genesis models tend to undercut similarly priced rivals. If this one does the same and it performs out on the road, it could be a very compelling package. For more brand new car reveals like this, be sure to subscribe to the Auto Express channel. 